promise I will get to this one as a game. Ah, Scruffy! Welcome to Bumblecast Gaming. I am your host, Ian Flynn, the Bumble King, and not playing at all, but sitting next to Crazy Lee herself, Aaliyah Baker, the master of suffering, as you know her from the old Archie books, is playing Splatoon 2. Tonight we're starting off with some power control for the entire point is you get on the tower and you make it move and you kill anything that comes near it. Yeah, the capture card gives it a slight delay. the tower makes across the map. If you manage to get the furthest and time runs out, you win. If you manage to get all the way to the end, you win. Along the path are check marks, uh, checkpoints that you have to hold for a certain number of seconds, which adds to the fun. If I can too much, I can try to mess with the setting, see if I can get less latency on the stream. Players that are sitting on the tower also increases the speed that it moves. And having the three at the end there, get, got it at the very end for victory. See, you're not doing bad at all. Do you want, do you want me to mess with the settings? It's not about the kills. It's about the victory. Ismail. 
had to sacrifice the H to get the little notes and the stars in there, I guess. As you can see by the rankings, Lee competes at a level completely beyond what I am used to. C is for cookie, and that's good enough for me. Lee is rocking dualies, the only two weapons that you use on things that everything else is a simple serve. With the added bonus being able to dodge roll, different dualies have different amounts of dodge rolls that you can do. They're good for mid-range combat, very good for getting in quick and doing a lot of sneaky damage. Sneaky damage is just the middle of the day for the fish. These dualies are outfitted with suction bombs, which can adhere to any surface and explode after a short timer. And the hamster ball, which I don't remember the exact name for. And it rolls along, creating a path that your teammates can use and can explode on command, ruining the day of anyone within a very long radius. It's nice when you have a bad sniper on your hands. They did. You got a bucket behind you. Hamster Ball is indeed fun, Scruffy. It is not a win button. Uh, the opponents can shoot you and slowly break down the ball, interrupting your explosive fun. But you can also explode on them, so it, 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 you, you have to decide what, what way you're going to go with it. Lee's playstyle skin tends to lend itself more towards support. Secure the main point and then move on to hunt down anyone who's on the fringe. Give everybody else the support to push the main objective. In these focus team matches, your tower control your spot points and whatnot, it seems to work better when you have people supporting one another rather than everybody trying to get the point. Moeo using one of the versions of the bucket, which is for countless people who like to make people cry. They enjoy biting the heads off of kittens and also hate Christmas. If you are a regular bucket user and a watcher of this stream, I am sorry to say that you are a bad person.
So long as they hold the car for the next six seconds, they've got this one in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. No, I didn't see. Yeah, that's with it? Alright. Well, we'll see the score pop up and then I'll mess with it. And we get a perk shooting. Alright, stand by as we mess with the settings on our end. That's all I can do at this point. Sorry. Well, think of it this way. When we stop streaming, everything's going to look like lightning fast. Exactly. Stream help was, and it says we're offline, except that it's streaming. I mean, it's going. I see it. It's just funny. Still with us, Scruffy? Can you confirm that there's still a stream of streaming? Okie dokie. Isn't technology fun? Go, Hapster Ball! Bring about doom destruction. Got one. place to be, but you got the tower to move, so that's the point. Sacrifice for the greater squid. For the greater octopus. Greater cephalopod. Snakey, snakey ones. Currently have the lead with a point total of 43. Distance of 43. Well, the oranges are pushing back. If the tower goes unoccupied for a certain amount of time, it will revert back to its original place. Yeah. 
to go. Tower's in a neutral position, but the purples hold a size, I believe. The Scruffy have a slightly different mic setup. I'll try to be better at that, but uh, let me know if I can continue to come through quietly. Five seconds to gain. What is something more? Another eight. Distances to regain the lead. Meters? Cubits? And there is no hurrying the tower. It must follow its preset course. Well, yeah, but you can't, like, take a shortcut anyway. That's my point. We are in overtime as it is contested here at the very end. Can they hold? No. Yes, yes, they did. Shut my mouth. That was a nail biter. Good night. Oh my God. It's not about the kills, it's about the success. How are you doing tonight, Scruffy? But we're only getting more A towers over and over. It's a good stage. It's one of the better stages. I'm glad you're happy and I'm glad you're having a good time with that, Scruffy. We're doing all right, Scruffy. Thank you for asking. Just trying to keep on top of life and on top of work. You know how it goes. You say lag, but you were caught in the crossfire at two different sides and you killed both of them. Murderfish.
With Kevin Sasso, one of his things where you very much have to hold out to the very bitter end. Because the game can turn around in literally the last five seconds. Well, the last five seconds plays that rally and push of the fans. I think I'll just go. Must be a nice job that you're doing, Scruffy, that you can watch streams while doing whatever it is that you do. Not to get too personal or snoopy, mind you, just saying. So that one didn't go quite as well, but that's okay. Uh, considering somebody got, yep, well that would be why. Some days you are the ink, and some days you are the roller. Maybe we'll actually give, get a different stage this time. This round we've got... Nerfertin, Nero Yi... Our host Lee, Sir Pierpier, yeah, whatever, and Rihanna didn't know she actually played this. Clearly, it has to be her because who else would use that name? Aha! New Albacore Hotel with its hazardous, deadly swimming pools. Part of the reason why Lee was stuck between a net and a wet place was the fact that you can go through nets if you try to duck. You can't eat the nets, it goes through the mesh. You can't hide in the net because you go through the mesh. And the only thing below is watery, watery death. I haven't seen that pool floaty before, that's adorable. Ah, Scruffy is being the stealthy viewer. That's fine, that's all good. I think this is the first time we've seen this thing. It's one of the special weapons, high intensity ink beam that cuts through Everything. Terrain, walls, hopes, dreams. There is no hiding from it. It is a bit of tricky to aim, but once you kind of bring it to bear on somebody, that's it. I've never seen this stage in Tower Control, so I'm completely lost as to where the thing is going. This stage doesn't seem to link itself very well. It's very crisscross here. Which I guess is part of the appeal.
I completely agree with you, Scruffy. This many avenues of the pool in between the stage. It seems especially hazardous. Granted, they do tweak it between the moments. Not sure if you can hear Lee. This mic is very, very specific in which way it listens. I would be pointing it directly at her face, but she's kind of trying to concentrate on the game. Be a bit of a distraction. <laughs> I'm a very distracted individual anyway, aren't I? Nice. seconds, and they pull off another miracle win. <laughs> now if you make this a more regular hit right, we'll continue getting the second round of the so. Thought, but not a bad loss. It could have been worse. And the next bonus to the boots is running faster. What is your thought process as you go along here to switch up what you've got equipped? Nope, nope, get away from me. But the people want to know! I don't know if any of that got picked up, but I, I'm laughing. I'm still a bit quiet too? Alright, well, while she messes with that, I'm going to mess with this real quick. How's that, Scruffy? Of course you're people. You're the best kind of people. You're patronizing people. I mean, a patron. One who patronizes. But is not patronizing in their patronage. For all the rumbling crumpling, there is a cat directly in the way of everything. Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy.
once again to the fray, now with a little more familiarity with the stage. Let's see how it goes. That's okay, Scruffy. My fragile ego can only take so much. No, Bumble Cat just wants to steal all of my body heat by crawling into my body cavity. By any means necessary. That or he objects that I'm anywhere on the couch. And now you move. Do you have anything to add to the stream, buddy? The enemy! Pegway? Pegway? Use the fairly new and incredibly insidious bubble blower that launches giant exploding bubbles. You can shoot them down with effort, or they can shoot them down that causes them to explode. Chase them into the water. Nah. Two down. Hey, you got two of them.
we're in overtime. That's not good. Sugar the Cat seems to have unlocked a Booyah Bomb, which is basically a Dragon Ball Z styled spirit bomb that you charge with your entire team screaming out Booyah. YouTube continues to think that we're offline, but we're still streaming, so whatever. Back at the familiar territory of Y Towers, which will be showing up as a stage in Smash Brothers. Just a few scant weeks. I can't wait. playing a game of hide and death with the opponent. No, Scruffy, sadly, we're not going to see any kind of Pokemon cross on with Sonic anytime soon. Smash Brothers will have to be our place of the ultimate crossover for the foreseeable future. There we saw Lee got targeted by multiple homing missiles and took one for the team by diving off the tower so that the tower did not become covered in enemy ink. As the enemy sniper decided that they were fed up and tried to come down and shoot at short range. Not sure about their tactics, but alright. We will always have the memes, Scruffy. Mm -hmm. 
You can definitely expect to see some Smash stream once it comes out. Whoever has the Stingray on the enemy stage really knows how to position themselves well. Bumble Smash Scruffy, or should we keep the K conventions and call it Bumble Kerfluffle? <laughs> Hopefully that bird is just stunned Scruffy, and we'll get up and move on. Poor birdie. Have you met the line to survive on the S, or is that just short? Ooh. I said, hopefully that bird survived, Scruffy. I hope you did not witness a sudden bird smashing. Which one? Her Ugg? Well, with a name like that, it's memorable. Instead of Bumble Smash, what about Bumble Kerfluffle? Double murder. Triple murder. The one person you haven't killed. I was hoping they called the Fluffle back to Smash 4. I knew there was no chance of it, but I just like that word. It's a good word. Super Smash, Super Smash Brothers Smush Edition? No! Kerfluffle.
This is my favorite musical tracks in the game because of all the aggressive kazoos. I said if it would be worth it to put a loadout with beacons on for this stage, but if you get, yeah, if you go on the albacore, there's no point to it. Well, Scruffy, at this point, they've been locked in apparently and dictated by Nintendo. So I would put even money on seeing Octowings and hopefully Dixie Kong. But given how things were revealed here at the end, the fact that ARMS got almost no representation, uh, my predictions are out the window. Nope, no stage. The all, all they got was one assist trophy and one me costume. There might be a music track in the general stage, but... Uh... <laughs> The forgotten fighting franchise. I was just really surprised Octolins were not uh, shooing for an echo. Well, that's the thing, Scruffy. I mean, Springman is kind of the mascot for arms. And he's the assist trophy, and I can't see them doing an assist trophy and then doing a full character. And I can't see them taking an assist character out. Assist trophy. I could be wrong. I mean, it would be pretty easy to take one out and replace it up there, I guess. But Of course, I'd crack up if after all this and the gnashing of uneven teeth, we finally did get a Waluigi. <laughs> Part of me holds out hope, no real expectation for it, but I would be tickled to see them actually bring Banjo Kazooie. It won't happen, but it would still be kind of neat. Who's on the tower? Nobody's on the tower because it's going back to the middle. Somebody's on the moon? Alright. <laughs> Who are you hoping for, Scruffy? Who... What is your expectation for the... DLC? I'm pretty sure K. Rool and all of the original Donkey Kong Country game stuff is Nintendo's. Because K. Rool and some other characters were in one of the baseball games. Yeah, K. Rool, uh, Funky Kong, and I think Kremlin were in the Wii baseball game, I want to say to the collective confusion of everyone involved. And I know K. Rool showed up as a boss character in some of the... 
Are 3DS or just DS games? The King of Swing games. So I'm pretty sure all of the Donkey Kong Country stuff has been fair game. Why it hasn't been used? Eh, that's Nintendo. Who knows? Actually, come to think of it, I think he was a boss slash late game unlockable character in the racing game. So, I guess he's seen a fair amount of exposure. Now, the Kremlings don't show up in any incarnation of the Returns, but I think that's just an attempt to broaden the franchise a bit. Or because the Tiki's didn't really resonate with anybody. Of course, I can't really say that the Vikings were especially memorable either, so let's go back to our horribly bloated terrifying identity crisis crocodile. Survived by the hamster ball. for Lee. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I don't think Conquer is even remotely possible. He only showed up on one Nintendo console and a title that's forgotten by everybody. Two? Two. GBA game. Yeah, the GBA game. Killer. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not counting uh, Diddy Kong Racing. No. Because Conker's Bad for Day was on the Xbox, it wasn't on any Nintendo system. No? Was it on a GameCube? I'm pretty sure it was. Really? I'm so sorry. I don't think we're going to see any more guest characters. As much as I would love to see Eggman as, like, a heavy Bowser Jr., I just don't see any more guests coming. Because Bad Fruity was originally on the N64. Well, shut my mouth. I remember the original idea for the hats. I just have a hard time reconciling Conker's Bad Fur Day with Nintendo's mentalities, especially in 64. Although, I guess that was when they started to branch out a little bit. So they... Well, Mimikyu is already a throwable Pokeball, so I can't see it showing up. I think they're done on Pokemon. I hope they're done with Pokemon.
Now, traditionally, we get a Fire Emblem character every single time. If it happens every game, it's tradition. I'm calling it tradition and you can't stop me. Yep, uh, Mimikyu is a throwable. It grabs <laughs> whoever it targets, pulls it under its blanket, and does horrible things to it out of sight. Well, at least you're locked in for S rank. It goes above S rank. I know it goes above S rank, but. It goes up to triple S. It goes up to X. No. <laughs> That's an entirely different game. I think we got time for one more round. <laughs> oh, Hi, Grandma. She tells you to eat your sushi. Up close shot of the stingray. And the cold, dead stare of the operator. It's always best when, I'm, when they're on your team. You've had one or two times. That's a whole lot of specials. Scared the sniper off before you killed him. You 
live through that. I'm surprised. They live through that. I'm surprised. Six units, 20 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Can they hold it? second turnaround. Well, that's going to wrap us up for Bumblecast Gaming for the evening. I hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, we'll see you next week for more gaming goodness. Have a good night.